Love YouTube. So, uh, like I promised, I'm here with a tutorial for this uh, little video I made with a sound effect. So, that's what we are going to make today. So, um, <clears throat> let's get started. So, um, yeah, I'll close this one. Um, uh, we've First of all, we take a sphere and a camera and we have a camera, go to coordinates, uh, zero, zero, and ninety, zero, zero, and like here, we could take like a thousand or something. Doesn't looks good to me. Um, next, for some reason I don't know, um, before the sphere works in the sound effect, you have to put it in a <clears throat> in a cloner object. But yeah, it's not a problem. Just take a cloner object and put the object on one. So like this, the count on one. Excuse me. Um, and then of course um, the sound factor which you can find in a mograph factor and sound so um, uh, you have to be sure your cloner is um, you've selected your cloner and then uh, turn on the sound factor so then the sound factor uses the the object you selected as the body so um, in sound factor you go to sound file and choose yeah you can choose any music you want but I'll just take sky shot which is a friend uh, a friend of my made that song so I'll use that one um, <clears throat> So, but if we now press play, you see the sphere only moves in one direction. So, and it doesn't change its off scale. So, we go to parameter um, and turn off position and turn on scale. And we take like 1.5, 1.5. And 1.5. So you see now the scale also changes uh, and the position doesn't anymore. So um, <clears throat> next we uh, are going to make those um, little drops flying around the uh, sphere you can see over here. So. For that, we're going to again use the sphere, but uh, no, first turn off this one. So um, you scale the um, sphere down to something about seven. Seven is okay, and put it also in a cloner. So put it in a cloner and go to cloner. Mode grid array and take like eight, 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 and uh, we'll scale it down so it fits in the R sphere. Yeah, now it fits in the R sphere. Um, I'm going to take those two together and take of those little spheres you take a sphere go to tags and um, rigid body and into rigid body go to force and put on something like three or so and my other one <coughs> my other sphere you also uh, make um, uh, rigid body 
and force like five. So if you now press play, yeah, my computer kind of, yeah, doesn't agree with it. But, um, you see those little balls are bouncing around the other one. So we're going to take um, these two cloners and put them together in a in a metal ball. So select them both and get them into the metal ball. So if you now press play, and we render, you don't see those little drops flying around, and that's because of the metal ball. So. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's not the new one. You um, change the value to, yeah, I, I forgot how it was more, yeah, I think it was more. Let's take 200%. So, like this, you can see those little drops flying around already. So, and yeah, as long as he drops fly around, it's okay. But I think I will take a little bit more, like 250 maybe, or maybe that's a bit too much. Let's take 220. Yeah, like this. But um, yeah, if we run this out, yeah, we take a, a good frame to run. So um, now you see this very sharp edges of the sphere and the little drops. So we'll take. Um, a hyper nerves to solve that. So you select them all, include the metal ball, and you write them into the hyper nerves. And if we render this out right now, you see is you have nice round edges. <clears throat> so um, next we're going to maybe add some reflections to the spheres. So create new material. I'll click it. Uh, for color, I like uh, kind of a duck, duck, um, duck egg color, mm, like this. And um, turn off specular and go to reflection and click. For now, now you turn down the reflection a bit, not too much, like yeah, like this, and I'll drag it onto the uh, sphere, and maybe also background, so mm, create your material. Now click it, turn off specular, go to color, click texture, take gradient, double click, and take circular, like this. And my video center was kind of a white, and at the edges it was a kind of, yeah, yellow. So like this, um, <clears throat> but we have to take a background to add the material to. So you go to here, background, and drag that material onto the background. So if you press play, yes, yeah, you see the sphere only has reflections of the little drops flying around. So um, 
you're going to add some extra reflection to it, uh, reflections to this. So um, go to the cube and take the disk. Um, yeah, you can scale it a bit up like this. You create new material. Now click it. Turn off color, specular, and turn on the luminance, and drag it onto the um, to the um, disk. So if we drag this to above the sphere, and we take run right now. You see, we have some reflections on top of the sphere, but um, <coughs> maybe. We don't want those sharp edges of the reflection, so turn off specular, go to color, and go to texture, again gradient, I'll click it, and again 2D circular, and make center white, and the edges kinda dark gray, like this. And yeah, we have to drag this onto the disk. Mm. Oh, why does this work? Mm. Yeah, so. We return off color and take um, limits because it doesn't work with the gradient. So, um, yeah, now you see we have some reflections. But, um, hmm, I don't have. The reflections I want actually. So, mm, I'll maybe scale up the plane, uh, the disk a little bit, excuse me. Like this. But you have to make sure it's out of the view of the camera. <clears throat> like this. And yeah, this looks good. But we're going to go to render settings, um, anti aliasing, uh, yeah, geometry is okay. Um, and we don't have to take ambient occlusion or global illumination. Because I didn't in my video and I thought the result was kind of good. So. But, um,. Now, next, we're going to take a uh, light, drag it over here, another light, and drag it over here, and make yeah, both of the light, those lights uh, a little bit kind of yellow, warm light. So. Like this, and bring our light to the front. So, if you're in right now, this looks a lot better with those uh, lights. <clears throat> but uh, I see there are not uh, as much drops as in the video. So, hmm. there are some more in the video. So, um, maybe have to go to the cloner of the little spheres and take a seed of 8, maybe 12, 12, 12, and out a nice frame to render. So this looks more like what we want. But um, 
I'll take a little bit to the top because otherwise you will have much of these um, droplets at the bottom. So take the cloner a little bit up to the top, not much. So and there are very much of them here. So drag a bit there. Mm, still, yeah, you know what? We just rotate it 90 degrees. And oh my god, hmm, all those droplets are at one side, so yeah, maybe. Why, why the fuck is this? Hmm. Yeah, but anyways, it's more random than my video, so I think that's kind of the result we want. So um, just go to render settings, save as uh, QuickTime. Yeah, or in your situation, if you have PC, it will be something else probably, and just save it somewhere as um, music video in my files uh, in my Cinema 4D files. So save and. Yeah, that's uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, maybe you want a bit of better resolution, but um, yeah. So that's the end of my tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in my next tutorial. Bye.